Hello? Hello, guardians. Um, well, well, what? No! No! Start again. Hello, survivors. Welcome back to the Ark. We've got a bit of an issue on our hands. So, luckily, I've got the sturdy engage with us. Because, basically, over here, we've got Kano, and it's making me scared. What level is it? Well, we killed the compit. What the hell is two Kano's? So, if nobody knows who Engage is, um, it is a RG that was a perfect tame from a couple of seasons ago, um, which I've downloaded and kept with me ever since because she is a great Argentavis with some great stats. So I just couldn't let her go. Um, and she's followed me through two seasons now. Um, is it he or is it she? I'm not really sure. But like I said, as you can see, she's a very sturdy bird. You know, she's taking very little damage and she's killing for fun. Right, so that's that done. So basically, today, as. The video describes, I want to try and set up some perimeter defences because the fact that Kano's are spawning so close by kind of worries me. You know, we've got a freaking raptor here. And it looks like it, oh no, I was going to say it looks like a high level, but it isn't. It's a 72, which the RG has no problem dealing with. So. As mentioned, I want to play make some of the perimeter defences, so I've been doing a bit of farming of materials. So I've got some wooden spiked walls here, as you can see. Ooh, got quite a lot of stuff off of them, off them then, really, didn't we? Bonus. Right, so, basically I'm thinking of starting to put the defences, like, along, starting here. So this ledge can be like the start of the protection. These are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Jesus, they're huge. Um, yeah, that'll work. So that kind of like stops, can I get in through here? Well, I can, yeah, but I don't think any dinos should be able to. Let's um, just put one across the... like so. Um, the rocks, are they destroyable? They are, so I'm going to have to get rid of them, that's perfect. get rid of this one as well because if I can destroy them then something else can destroy them that's the way to look at it right where's our hut it's there so I don't want to be going too high up so I'm going to go around the back of these rocks here And I'm stuck. What the hell? It didn't do it. It's still not doing it. I can get rid of these rocks. It looks like we've got a lag spike. There we go. Get rid of this. These 20 or so have gone quite far. I weren't expecting them to <coughs> actually last this long. Did 
this is actually working out quite well. I'm quite happy about this. Probably going to need to make a few more, but I can live with that. So I wanted to go down there by that ledge again, like I said. So let's go down here. Alright, so we probably want it to start about there. Oops, shit. Problem, 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 problem. Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. Whew, good thing I've got a bed. A good thing Argentavis is on neutral as well, so it will annihilate it. Well, it should do. But can you see the issue now that we have? <laughs> Come on, Argy. Come on. Kill it. It's like a viewing field. Kill it. Yeah. Good boy, girl, whatever you are. Alright. You stupid little freaking raptor, you. I'm actually quite worried that there's so many freaking of them spawning in the area. Right, where's my body? There it is. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Alright, I need two, I think. Pump. Uh, do some health, make us a little bit tougher. We also need to make some freaking um, armor, I think. I'm going to put one there, just because I'm quite worried about them jumping up. What do I need? I need wood, hide, and fiber. The good thing is, is I've got a lot of wood. I mean, a lot of fiber. I think it's just wood that we need. So there's some wood. There's some hide, and we've also got some more on Engagey. Yep. Yeah. Let's just gamma up since it's night time. Probably should be enough. I'm surprised we've got this done as quick as we have. Right, come on, engage. Is it here or is she? Let's have a look. Cause I keep forgetting. Yeah, it's not telling me. Okay, I'll have a look in a minute. Tell you what, I'll have a look now. Uh, it's, oh, it's a he. So he's been with us for two seasons. Alright, and then I think I need to stick one more just behind the uh, to stop that hole being an issue. That works out quite well. Let's go and do the same with this hole over here, actually. And just put a bit of a lip, like we did with the other one. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to need some sort of dino gear eventually um, to put um, so we can get some dinos in here. Look 
come on. All I wanna do is stick it there. That, that works. That works. That works great. Alright, is it possible to jump up there, do you reckon? I'll we'll stick another one on just to be safe on either side. And then that's job done, ladies and gentlemen. Survivors of the Ark. Right. Yeah, there's no way they're getting up there. That's good. I've never actually dealt with these before. Using spike walls. Right, there we go. I'm quite happy now that we should be safe. So I'm not going to worry about being attacked anymore. Um, right, so let's put our resources back. Got quite a bit of flint, that's good. And um, just stick health up. Alright. You know what we do need? We need some armour. So let's take the spur. Hide that Engage has got. Like so. Hide. And I think we need to actually learn the hide armour. Which would obviously be a big help. Julaz on the server between has figured out an absolutely amazing trick to harvest as much wood, metal, stone as you could dream of. I think in 10 minutes we farmed. I think it was 10,000 metal. 10,000 fecking metal in 10 minutes. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, and the way it works is basically a glitch where if you scoop up an Ankylo or a Mammoth or a Duodicarus onto a platform saddle of a Quetz, get a second person to ride that Ankylo, Mammoth or Duodicarus, get the Quetz to just fly around while they spam the harvest button. And because the animal's on the actual platform rather than being picked up, it, the weight doesn't add to the quets. So then you can harvest as much as you want. The animal you're farming with will become overweight, but will not stop harvesting, but the quets will still be able to fly. So, like I said, we farmed 10,000 metal, probably 20,000 wood, 20,000 stone in a matter of half an hour. So over at his base, we've got all the resources we need, but... I will eventually farm my own once we get the and we're able to do so. But right now I'm just going to take things slow. So let's get some armor made. What do I need? I need fiber. Of course we need fiber. Engage there just being the tower of defense for the the team. We got a hat. Let's put a cowboy hat on as well. Can't be forgetting that. Hands. Heads and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, he's got no pants. There we go. Job done. Um, we've also got an ape over near the red obelisk that's farming fibre for us, so that's why I've got so much fibre. Um, so it's, it's, it's a very good community server at the moment, so we've, we're getting quite a few people in. We've got a guy called Bat from Poland, we've got um, a guy that we recruited last night but I don't know if he's played yet. Um, we've also got Julaz obviously, Gaz is still technically on the server but we've just he's um, preoccupied at the moment. Um, but guys, that's been a productive episode, I think. We've got our perimeter defences sorted. And, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think next time we'll look at trying to expand our base. Maybe turn it into a wood base. And making it a little bit bigger so we can have some storage and some cooking things upstairs. So I'll see you then. Jesse out.